I would explain it to my constituents this way. In fact, from a very personal point of view, I'm a 28 year survivor of domestic violence. And to deprive the most vulnerable citizens of Pennsylvania from any sort of aid, any sort of counseling that is critical in the early stages of recovering from those sorts of situations, rape, rape crisis centers, I, I think it's abhorrent that they've been put in the position of being political pawns. Uh, so this is the reason we're taking the override votes today, and I'm extremely disappointed that they're not actually succeeding. I have a hard time when people throw the terms gimmicks and smoke and mirrors at us, and they're standing on the House floor and they're saying, well, we, we, even if we were to vote, you know, be able to vote on this, it's not enough money. Yet, back on June 1st, we voted on the tax plan that would provide enough money that they think is needed to be spent on these programs. Not a single Democrat voted for it. Not a single vote in the House. Unanimously defeated. No tax bill ever gets defeated unanimously, but this one did. So it's extremely frustrating that they keep changing the rules, changing the, uh, moving the goalposts uh, in what they want us to get done. I, I mean, we can't, we can't meet an objective if it keeps moving in front of us. We do need to take care of the most vulnerable citizens, but taxpayers, absolutely. And they've reached out to me over the last two months since we passed the budget and put it on the governor's desk. Taxpayers have reached out to me and said, "Don't." they've not said, sit down and compromise with this guy. They've told me, hold the line, hold the line because we're taxed enough already.